Hello everybody, I'm Kyla from Zeus Bro, and today we're going to be talking about some signs that your chinchilla may have heat stroke, what to do if it dies, and some prevention measures that you can take to keep your chinchilla from overheating. Before we start, make sure to come check us out. We have tons of high quality products made by pet lovers just like you. Check out the link in the description below to get 10% off your first purchase with our special YouTube viewer code. Alright, let's get started. Chinchilla heat stroke is very similar to our version of heat stroke. It's when a chinchilla's body overheats, causing its brain and other vital organs to swell, ultimately leading to death. Any temperature above 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius is too high for your chinchilla and can lead to heat stroke. Chinchillas are not able to sweat, which is why they use their environment to help themselves cool down. This is why it's so important to keep your chinchilla in its ideal temperature of between 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 to 21 degrees Celsius. Some chinchillas are more susceptible to heat stroke. Your chin may be more susceptible to the heat if they are under a year old, over 15 years old, have a prior health condition, or have a larger size, or have very dense fur. If this sounds like your chinchilla, make sure to house them at the proper temperatures. Luckily, there are some universal symptoms to tell whether or not your chinchilla has heat stroke so you can act right away. If your chinchilla is lethargic, drooling, unconscious, has rapid breathing, or has red or pink ears with bulging red veins on them, then your chinchilla is most likely suffering from heat stroke. Different colored chinchillas have different colored ears. So if your chinchilla has black colored ears, then they will not present with red colored ears as a symptom of heat stroke. If this is the case, you will need to judge the other symptoms that your chinchilla has in order to tell if your chinchilla has heat stroke or not. If your chinchilla is it exhibiting any of these symptoms, you need to immediately remove them from their cage and place them in a room that is between 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 to 21 degrees Celsius. Now, under any normal circumstances, you would not want to get your chinchilla wet, but because this is a medical emergency, it is completely okay to get your chinchilla wet to save your chinchilla's life. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your chinchilla and submerge them in water from your faucet for between 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure that if your chinchilla is unconscious that you hold their head up so that way they can still breathe because they're not going to be able to hold their heads up on their own. You're going to want to make sure that the water is from your faucet and isn't from your freezer or water with ice cubes in it or anything like that. Now this is because if that water is very, very cold and your chinchilla is very, very hot, it can make your chinchilla go into shock, which can ultimately kill your chinchilla. So make sure that you use cool water from your faucet and to hold their heads up so they can still breathe. After your chinchilla has been submerged for between 15 to 20 minutes and is cooled down, you want to take your chinchilla out of the water and pat them dry with a towel or a washcloth. You don't want to use a blow dryer. And now this is because the heat from a blow dryer can actually make your chinchilla overheat again, restarting the entire process. So make sure that you pat them dry with a washcloth or a towel. Then you need to contact your local exotic veterinarian as soon as possible. Heat stroke is a medical emergency and you need to make sure to get your chinchilla to the vet as soon as possible. If your veterinarian cannot see you for a couple of hours, you need to monitor your chinchilla closely because if they start exhibiting signs of heat stroke again, you need to make sure to repeat the process and cool them down so that way they do not die. While no one expects heat stroke to occur, there are some steps that you can take to help prevent it from happening. What you can do is when transporting your chinchilla to and from your home, you can make sure that the vehicle has air conditioning and to keep your chinchilla's carrier away from any heating vents located inside of the vehicle. Next, when you have your chinchilla home, make sure they place your chinchilla in an ideal temperature of between 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 to 21 degrees Celsius. Next, make sure to place your chinchilla's cage away from direct sunlight, heaters, and heating vents located inside of your home. Another prevention technique that I personally use is to place a cooling stone inside of my chinchilla's cage. Cooling stones will be able to help your chinchilla because it can go on it when it feels too warm and will help to cool themselves down to prevent them from overheating. We feature cooling stones on our site and the link can be found in the description below. Lastly, make sure to not use an exercise ball. Exercise balls are nicknamed the death balls for a reason. They're about this large and they can be found at Petco and they're made of pure plastic. Not only is it bad and can break your chinchilla's back if they run around in it, 
but it, they can also overheat within minutes because they're not able to get to a place to cool themselves down and they overheat themselves while exercising in the ball. Please, please, please do not use one of these balls and throw it away or if you're able to, please recycle it because this is not safe for your chinchilla and I would never ever recommend using one. I really hope that you were able to gain some useful information from this video such as what to do if your chinchilla overheats and some techniques that you can use to help prevent it from happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure to subscribe for some more critter content. It really helps us out. Thank you guys so much again and we'll see you in the next video.